Hello guys, Terraforma here, and welcome to episode, episode, episode 2 of my, uh, my little series on Tekken. So, last episode, we got this thing, and I want to make this thing, and also I'm going to make another one of these, or something like it. Uh, actually, I want to make the, uh, the bag. I think that's what it's called. It's the, yeah, the alchemy bag. Which I need one of these, some of those, and yeah, so I'll just build that real quick. Cool thing about these bags is I can have multiple bags on my person and keep different things in them. So here I have that, so now I just need to make the Talisman of Repair. So the Talisman of Repair only works with the um, the chests, not, not the alchemy bag, but the, um, the alchemy chest it'll work with. So, by default, it will work with the alchemy bag. So now, if I put all of... Hold on. Weren't these damaged a minute ago? I could have sworn they were damaged. I could have sworn these were damaged, too. What the hell? I, and you can see it's repairing, but I didn't think they'd repair that fast. Um, I know I'm really down on resources, but I want to make another one of these things. So, I'll... Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's the best idea, but I'm going to show you guys a little secret that I didn't find out until, like, just a little bit ago when I was playing. Alright, so I believe I have everything necessary to make another alchemical, alchemical chest. Perfect. Okay, so now I have another one of this, and what I want to build now is one of these, an energy collector, which... I need glowstone for. What this does is it'll keep collecting energy from like light so I can get keep building up stuff and it's uh, more efficient the longer it goes. So now I just need to go to the nether. Flint and steel and this is the old nether so it has the original noises to go in and everything. Alright, looking good. Spawn the cave. Let me actually. I should have done this earlier. So I should do this uh, for my home and the overworld as well. Perfect. So now I can find my way back if I get lost. Uh, which I might because we're not in an open area. But that's nice because no, uh, mm, no gas are gonna sneak up on me. If you can see, there's all these ores, which I could mine, but then all the zombie pigmen are going to try and kill me. Like, they will try and find me from anywhere and try and kill me. Okay. So I need to get away to the surface to get myself some glowstone without getting killed. That's my goal. I've got some glowstone right there. I would like some more because it's really high in EMC and it gives you a lot for mining a little. Okay, that, those are perfect, the ones that are really close to the ground. There's um, a thing called an electrical jetpack that I want to make, but I need to start working on electricity, which I'm not. Right now I'm working on more of like Talisman of Repair, Philosopher's Stone, all the like kind of mystical things in this mod. And I can get to the electrical either towards the end of this episode or next episode. All right. That's a lot. That's really nice. So I can also mine all the stuff in here later. But I want a mining laser because the uh, zombie pigmen don't attack you if you have a mining laser. Which is a little bit of a bug, I think. Or an exploit or something, but I'm going to use it. Okay, so I've got a lot of this. But I'm going to be greedy and I want more because they're really, really good. As I've said before. Alright, so I'm going to finish mining these, and if nothing else interesting happens, uh, I'll meet you guys back at the house. Alright, I'm back at the house. Now let me check, see... Actually, no, I wasn't making a Philosopher's Stone. I wanted to make one of these to get continuous electricity. Not electricity, EMC. So I just need nine of these. And... I need a bunch of glowstone. 
Okay, so I have all that. And I need glass. God dang it. Alright, got the uh, stuff smelting for the glass, the sand. And let me just check. Okay, and then I need a furnace. Okay, so I think I have everything I need. Okay, beautiful. I've got an energy collector. I just need one more thing, which is that. And I'll show you why. So I'm going to put this thing in the corner, and it's generating a little bit of EMC. Okay, stop. Jesus, stop. Okay. And... Yeah, it's going up, and I think it'll go faster if we got that. Yeah, it's going a bit faster. It's fully charged. So now, what I can do... Stop! Stop! Oh my god, I'm being spammed. I'm never, I'm never this popular. What, what's going on? <sighs> okay, uh, what was I doing? Okay, energy collector. Yeah, now if I put this here, and if I put something like this, it's going to start sucking everything from there into here, and it's going to start building that up. And why that's important is because if I make a piping system, I can have it generate coal or like um, lava or something to be put into a geothermal generator or a regular generator, which I think is what I'm going to work on next. Um, let's see. What do I need for those? Gen. Gen. Okay, so generator. I need a battery. Um, a machine block or iron furnace. So I need refined iron. Okay, so refined iron is just iron like that's been refined. So I'm just gonna make myself some iron out of the glowstone. See now I've got a stack of iron from just like 40 glowstone. So that's good. So, and I'm just gonna put that in with eight and then put in one coal and it should be good okay now I need to make a battery okay so I need copper rubber okay now rubber I need I found that there's a tree out there that I didn't show that has rubber so, there's a thing called a rubber tap, I think. I don't remember how to make it. I'm going to look that up. Okay, a tree tap. Uh, okay, that's how I make it. Alright, have a tree tap. Now, I'm going to go out to a rubber tree and collect some rubber. Let me put down some blocks here. Which I think I saw in that forest over there. Hold on, let me... Let me mark a waypoint here so I know where to get, where to go to if I want to go home. Make it red so it stands out. All right, there you go. Now I can always see that waypoint, no matter where I am. Okay, so see that, see that little, that thing right there? That's a rubber tree. So I just need to click um, one of the rubber nodules with this tree tap, and then I can get a piece of rubber. Like, um, hold on, I need to eat. I keep forgetting I need food. And then I can use the device to turn rubber, or to turn other things into rubber. Let's see, no, there's none here. And I might have gotten unlucky, yeah. But there are some over there. Let me kill one of these cows, because I like beef. I think it's my favorite food. So now that I killed that cow, going back to the machine I, th I built, I can replicate that, in. I can replicate other things into beef. Okay, so here's what... Here's what one of these things look like. It's a rubber. So I can click that and get a noise and some sticky resin. I can always, um, I think I can use an extractor with these um, pieces of wood and get more. But I don't need more because I can turn other things in. Alright, back home and turn sticky resin, which is 24 EMC. And I can get a couple stacks of it just with a couple pieces of glowstone dust. That's why I love glowstone dust, by the way. And I just throw it in one of these, put in eight pieces of coal, that'll work. And then wait for the rubber. 
Uh, I also need to start smelting down the copper I got. I'm reluctant to smelt down the things I have because it's uh, it's wasteful because I know there's a thing called a macerator that I can use to macerate things into getting more out of the... Alright, so now I've got some copper cables which I can use to build batteries. Okay, I need tin. Crap, I don't think I grabbed any tin, did I? Okay, I've got a little bit. That should work. Now I'm gonna turn some of my iron into some tin, because they're exactly the same in value. Now if I check back over here, I've got three of these glowstone dusts made for nothing. Almost four. So if I keep this running and keep upgrading this, then I can get a whole bunch of stuff. I need redstone as well, which I checked and I don't have much. Now these, these is good. Lapis it has a huge amount of EMC. So I just need a little and I can get a whole crap ton of redstone. And lapis is not used in a lot for crafting recipes. Alright, so we got that. Got that, I'll just keep that brewing. And I just need to make one more thing. I'm going to make, to save on some materials, I'm going to make the furnace. And then if I do this and put iron like that, I have iron furnace. And then if I do this, do that, put on the battery. Now I have a generator, which works off of coal. Now, if I look up, uh, Geo, I can get a geothermal generator, which I just need some cells and not much else. And cells are really, really cheap to make. See, now I've got 16. I just need to replicate some glass. It's not even called replicating in this game, but I do, I'll call it that because I'm a huge Star Trek fan. Call me whatever you want in the chat. Uh, do that. Do this. Do the other. Okay, now I have a geothermal generator, which I can use um, for other things. Now let me look up a macerator. Okay, that needs an electric circuit which is that. Usually I'll build a whole bunch of electric circuits just because they're a pain in the ass and I, I build them all the time so that I have a stockpile but I don't think I have the resources right now. Uh, uh, okay, so okay, I need to smelt down some more refined iron. I need eight of it in order to build the next part, so making a macerator, which then I can start macerating my materials into more material. It takes longer right now, but in the future I can work towards um, putting... Re Holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, I'll just take that. Best part is if I make too much, I can turn that into wood or something else. You never lose when you do this. And then now I have four left over, I can make four cobblestone. If I look back here, I'm making more of this. That's awesome. Okay, perfect. You make a machine block. Then machine block, electronic circuit, flint, uh, cobblestone. All right, we have a macerator now. So I, for now, I'm gonna put it like, just right here. And then I'll put the macerator beside it. And then what I can do is if I have some copper, I can make a wrench, which I can use to destroy Oh, come on. I forget how to do everything in this game. Whatever, I can do that later. I need to get a cell. Oh, crap, where'd I put those? 
And then you go down and get some lava to power the geothermal generator. Actually, if I remember, I've got some lava over here. And then there's zombies, but whatever. Crap. Holy shit! Don't mine at night, kids. This isn't mining, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, that. Uh, come over here. Get me some lava. I don't want to go home. Let me go home. Please don't kill me. No, creeper. You're not welcome here. Alright, let me go to sleep real quick. Alright, perfect. Now what I can do with cells is I can replicate those. They're like 128 value. I can do this and I can get a couple stacks of them. Now what I can do with these is I can put that in here. It'll fill it up. It'll charge up this. And now I can do stuff like macerate the copper ore. So I think I think we did some really good stuff. Next episode, I'm going to like make a underground section, little laboratory I like doing. Put this stuff down there. So I don't have to like, uh, so I don't have to break a wall or anything. I can do everything below. I'll work on building a wrench out of copper and other stuff, dust, so I can take this stuff down there. So we did some good stuff. We turned all of our materials we got in the first episode into actual things that I can use now. Right, we have the uh, the pouch with. Um, Talisman of Repair, where we can now repair anything we use. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm Terra Firma. I'll see you in the next one.